In this video, we will demonstrate some of the key features in examination of the unstable shoulder. Anterior dislocation is the most common type of shoulder dislocation, and the most common pathological lesion is a torn labrum or bank out lesion. When the shoulder dislocates, the labrum is detached from the anterior part of the socket and the capsule is stretched. As the humeral head rests anteriorly, there is also damage to the back of the head called a hill sacs lesion. Patients with instability often complain of symptoms such as popping or clicking and it is common to have a lack of trust and reduction in power. Patients over 40 are more at risk of having an associated rotator cuff tear after dislocation and any patient having ongoing pain or weakness beyond four weeks, uh, we would recommend a scan to rule out a rotator cuff tear. During our instability examination, we would always consider joint laxity. This can be done by using the Baton's score. This has five components as shown here. And for more details on this, you can view the website, our website. The most reproducible test for anterior instability is the anterior apprehension and relocation test. The patient is placed on their back and the shoulder is gently moved into a position of apprehension. When the feeling of apprehension occurs, downward pressure is placed on the arm, pushing the shoulder back in. This should relieve the feeling of apprehension and removal of the pressure means the symptoms will return. The load and shift test is more difficult to perform on the humeral head, but this is where the, the ball is pushed forward. The shoulder will be unstable if it can be pushed beyond the socket. For more information on shoulder problems, uh, please visit our website www.emporshoulder.co.uk